Um, more recaps of Shayla and Becky, just so we know who's winning the Elimination <laughs> Chamber. And then we got that Elimination Chamber contract signing, mm. where everyone was made to look like a geek, apart from Shayna Baszler. <laughs> and and Asuka, in fairness. So, Asuka gets an entrance. Natalia yes. gets an entrance. Mm -hmm. Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, and Ruby Wright get jobber entrances. It's all done through the ad break. Asuka then cuts a promo. She counts and says, there's only five people here. Where's Shayna? I want Shayna. And Jerry says, like, well, she's here, but I don't know where she is. And then awkwardly, he gets... So they've got, they're on these two tables that are sort of like... And sort of I'm glad you're bringing other. this up, because I was going to. And then he passes... And so Asuka is sat next to uh, Sarah Logan. No, no, yes. so, yeah, yeah. so he gives the contract to Sarah Logan to sign. Mm -hmm. But rather than passing it to Asuka... <laughs> or Ruby Riot, who is next to Sarah, he takes it from that table and moves it to another table. He moves it away from people. <laughs> so that Natalia can sign it, and then Liv can sign it, so that Liv can walk around and give the contract to Ruby. It was so clunky, it, it was McClunky, and <laughs> hilarious, really, really made me laugh. Because this brand, this company, this company, could give less of an F about this Liv and Ruby feud. Oh, God, it has, like, did it even start? Like, it, like, it had the one angle, and then they were like, nah. <laughs> like, what you Ruby, haven't even done anything with it. What has Ruby done since that? She's done nothing, and Liv has done nothing since that. They've just cut bad promos. They've got some internet stuff about Ruby having green hair now. Like, that's it. Internet stuff does not count. No. Like, it, this has been... They don't care. No. This isn't going to be a WrestleMania match. This no. isn't going to be a match at, well, we haven't got another pay-per-view, I guess. Elimination Chamber. Obviously, they're in the chamber. because they're in the chamber. Yeah, no. they'll have a bit in the chamber. But like this, this is not a WrestleMania feud. No. And they are treating it as such. <laughs> and it is. Bunkers. And then, like, uh, and, and then Shayna comes out through the crowd like an effing boss. <laughs> Like, she just looks so much cooler than every other one of these geeks that were sat around this table. She just gets in, signs, and then gets in the face of everyone, being like, yeah. yes, by the way, I'm winning this. Uh, Natalia stands up. I'm like, sit down, Natty. Come on, mate. She's in Canada. She's got superpowers. Asuka gets involved, and I'm like, oh, that's a match I want to see. Yep. Shayna versus Asuka. Yes, please. And then Natty had to ruin all of that. Yeah. And then they brawl. And what I liked about this was that Asuka starts brawling with Natalia. Liv starts brawling with Ruby, Sarah Logan stands there like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, well, there's no one for me to fight, I guess. I'm just going to stand here and look at Liv and Ruby fighting. Hmm. Yep, I, they sure are fighting. I also love, by the way, massive credit to Liv Morgan for that dive over the table. Oh, yes, that was really <laughs> cool. It was the best thing she's done since coming back. <laughs> Really, really good. She clattered herself over the table straight into Ruby Riot while she was sitting down. It was great. But then after that, like 20 production people swarmed the ring. Not to break up the fight. No, no, no. Sorry, got to get these chairs out the ring. <laughs> Next segment's happening soon. <laughs> it's dangerous to go out there alone. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This was a ridiculous segment. I can't tell whether I liked it or not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I did. Maybe no. I, no, but I sort of did because I loved Shayna. Like, right? Because like they're all brawling and Shayna's just applauding, essentially saying without saying, you morons are just yeah. brawling. I'm going to win. Like you're all in fighting. I'm just going to destroy every single one of you in the chamber. And then, just so we all know who's winning the Elimination Chamber, <laughs> Becky Lynch came out and they had a big pull apart brawl and it was rad. Yeah. Right. Don't do this match. Don't do the Elimination Chamber. It is a waste of a spot on the card. You're already doing uh, the SmackDown have got an Elimination Chamber, right? Mm -hmm. The report was they were going to do a men's one. Like, that was, yep. the, that was the local advertising. They, so they announced on SmackDown, Lacey Evans said she was going to be entering the Elimination Chamber, and so did someone else. Roman? Someone said it. So you'd think there's going to be two Elimination Chamber matches for SmackDown. There's not going to be a men's one for Raw because we've already got McIntyre. But there's going to be a women's one. So three, three chamber matches? Cha like, you don't need three chamber matches on this oh. show. You may as well have had two chamber matches for SmackDown mm -hmm. and then had Becky Lynch and, Ask uh, Becky Lynch and Shayna do a contract signing for WrestleMania. Mm. We've already picked her. Like, yeah. Becky has effectively said, you are the person I'm facing at WrestleMania. So why are we pretending that Liv Morgan and Ruby Wright, that way you could have had Liv and Ruby have a singles match mm -hmm. and put that on the pay-per-view. Yeah. You could have had Asuka and Natalia have singles matches because they've been building that as a feud. Rather than sort of like wasting is this chamber 
yeah. spot or you know with with this chamber. I think it's a bit of a waste of time. Um, I'm sure it's going to be good, like, but it's. Mm. I just think it's a bit of a, a bit of a waste. And yeah, it, and it doesn't help that. Like I, I said this last week, but it does bear worth worth whatever that says. <laughs> I'm going to repeat it. Is what I'm getting. At. <laughs> I speak good. Um, if Shayna doesn't win the chamber, mm -hmm. if they swerve us and she doesn't win the chamber, what was the point of all of this? Yeah. What a waste of time. Yeah. What a waste of build. I, I, I for don't a match think, you're not going to do. I don't think there's any way that Shayna can't win this. From the amount of build that they've I done. I said that about the Rumble and, and Charlotte won. Is Charlotte winning this as well? But the thing is, though, if Shayna didn't win the Rumble, there's still a way for her to have the Mania match. Yeah, true. I think if Shayna doesn't win this, someone else is facing Becky. So all the build they've done is just off to the side. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think they, they would just can the feud for no reason. Vince doesn't like building feuds that you can't pay off on. So I would think that they've done the build for it, they'll do it. Even if they have a different winner for the Rumble, you can't have a different winner. There's no more chances unless they literally have a different winner, have like Natalia win it, and then the next night on Raw, it's like Natalia versus Shayna for the number one spot at WrestleMania. Yeah. Like, I think that's the only way. I don't think that's a ma massive cop out. They won't do that. Uh, I'm also putting my cast down on the table here. I think because Beth Phoenix is coming back to the show next week mm -hmm. uh, to address the Edge situation, I think she's going to team with Natalia, and that's going to be uh, the WrestleMania tag title match. It'll be Natalia and Beth versus the Kabuki Warriors. Oof. Because, like, who else can the Kabuki Warriors feud with? You've already got Asuka feuding with Natalia. Yeah. So you may as well get the tag titles involved with yeah. that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that's totally fair.